Hi everybody and welcome to this video about staff notebooks. Today I'm going to be talking you through the layout of a staff notebook and how it works basically. So at the moment in front of me I have opened the OneNote book and every OneNote is always navigated in the same way. So it always goes from left to right. And the way that I had OneNote explained to me, which really made a lot of sense, is to think about each OneNote as a book that would originally exist on a, on a, a bookshelf or in a filing cabinet. So you have a collection of books that all sit on a shelf. And then each of those books have tabs or sections to help you um, section material into to groups. So these are your, your sections. And then within each of those tabbed sections, you have pages. And then the benefit of OneNote is that each of these pages, you can see, I guess, the title of each page all listed down here so that you don't have to go sifting through that section to find what you're looking for. So even though we have page here, this over here is what the page actually looks like. And when you click on that page, it's very similar to opening a notebook, navigating to a particular page and starting to write and add content in there. Very same concept. So if I click this little arrow, you can see that again. So we have our book on the shelf, we have the tabs or the sections within that book, we have a preview of the page, and then we have the actual page itself. Now at the moment you can see that I'm in the Haas 2018 notebook. Um, please note that you can toggle these pages in and out. Um, so I'm just going to move this one over a little bit. Um, so you can see I'm in the Haas notebook and you can see over here that these are the different sections and then you then have the page and you can see that because I'm in the welcome section, this is the default section provided by Microsoft, I have a few tutorial pages here about how to navigate the book. Very helpful. So without further ado, I'm going to talk you through the benefits of a OneNote for a, a faculty. First and foremost, it's communication, um, and second, it's also collaboration. So really being able to work together um, as a team to achieve faculty business. And the way that we can do that, there are three key components to a OneNote staff notebook. The first one is a collaboration space. So all I've done is click the arrow to expand that particular um, section, and you can see that these are color-coded in tabs, just like you would have in a notebook, a physical one. So in here, each of these pages that Jack has set out for his, fac his Haas faculty, they can be edited by anyone who is a part of the Haas team. So Jack will add faculty members each year um, as, as names and numbers change, and anyone in there can edit the content of this. So an example of how this is useful is agendas and minutes. So rather than having to email out an agenda, open that agenda in a meeting, get someone to take minutes and then email out the minutes to everybody. Jack is going to be able to navigate to the collaboration space, go to the agendas and minutes, create a page in here um, and date it. So today is the 20th of November and he will be able to put his agenda in here. Okay, this then means that when we all come to the, the Haas meeting, someone can take minutes directly in the agenda and the actions can be together with the agenda. So that means that we're no longer relying on email um, and that communication is really consistent across the faculty, regardless of whether or not you are there. So that's a collaboration space. So this is a section that every single person can edit. So do be aware of that in case you go deleting things. The changes that you make here are reflected for everybody. The second section in a staff notebook is the content library. And this is a place where Jack, as the owner of the notebook, can add content to that the rest of the faculty can't edit. So this is a really great place to put things like deadlines. You can see that Jack is looking to get um, some laps in this section as well for years eight, nine, and 10. A place to put some common tasks and some rubrics, some shared agreements for the faculty, etc. So anything that Jack puts in here, you'll notice that if you were to click on this section, you'll get a notification along the top that says that this section is read only. Okay, now the benefit of this is obviously trying to get consistency um, across an entire faculty. So very, very helpful. The final section here is what is called a private notebook. And when you navigate to your faculty OneNote, you'll find that you have just your name here. 
The reason that I can see every single member of Haas is I am a temporary owner of this notebook with Jack so that I could help him set it up. Um, but once Jack makes me just a member, um, I won't be able to see this. So the purpose of this is exactly as the name says, it is a private notebook. So it's a place for you to be putting things that only you and Jack can see. And the idea here is that, again, we're not relying so heavily on email to track things like our, um, our PDP or our classroom observations. So if we have a look in Amy's folder, Jack has decided that for Hass, he would like to be able to um, view his staff's PDPs, their personal action plans and commitment to action, which is something that Hass um, works on as a faculty, and he then has an other section. So Amy might decide that she might like to put some of her content in here that she wants to keep track of. Now, Lee and Vincenzo and Sophie, they can't actually see Amy's folder, only Jack and Amy, which is really great. So I hope this has helped to give you a general overview of how OneNote works. I will try to provide a few more videos about both navigating these pages and adding content. Um, and please let me know if there's anything else I can help with. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.